Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we're going to be playing some squirrel combo in Historic, the Scurry Oak Infinite Squirrel combo. Um, so this was a deck I played a lot of when Jumpstart, yeah, it was Jumpstart that came out, um, but then Tybalt's Trickery came around, and this deck just couldn't beat Tybalt's Trickery and best of one Historic. Um, but basically, how the combo works is you need any creature that when a creature enters the battlefield, you gain a life. So Soul Warden, Daxos, or Prosperous Innkeeper. Uh, you need Scurry Oak in play, and then you need Heliod. So how it works is you gain a life, Heliod puts a counter on Scurry Oak, which generates a Squirrel token. That Squirrel token gains you a life, so you get to put a counter on Scurry Oak, and you basically rinse and, recipe, uh, rinse and repeat, can't talk today, uh, and make basically pseudo-infinite tokens and infinite life as much as you want to click. So it's a kind of a Coco life gain deck that's a little bit more aggressive than Angels with a combo element. Um, so we also have Trellisara, the Moon Dancer, as well as a Johnny's Pride Mate, both ways that you just get very large creatures. Uh, we have Esper Sentinels. So I'm trying out a different package today. Um, I'm actually going to make one change. Uh, so in the past, I've played the ranger captain of eos the one the three mana card to fetch one drops and then kind of have a toolbox effect uh in this version here we're going more combo oriented um so we are going to use esper sentinel to draw cards if your opponent casts non-creature spells also trying out a johnny as a one-sided board wipe in this version also gets you more copies of a johnny's pride mate um inclusion of shadow spear here uh, so generally you can make very large creatures, but you can't push through ja damage uh, because your opponent chump blocks. This is a way to give you lifelink as well as give hexproof as well. Um, so we have Scurry Oak, we have the Daxoses, Innkeepers, Skyclaves, four copies of Heliod because it's a key piece, and then collect a company uh, to get the rest of the deck together. So we'll run this through. Where are we at? 1374 Mythic was playing some shamans. Definitely a good deck if you haven't checked out that video. I uh, went eight and two with it. Just that deck does nutty things. Uh, so as we jump into this, as always, if you do enjoy the content, if you can drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it goes a long way to helping out the channel for absolutely free. Uh, particularly right now, just generating traffic. As you can see from the boxes behind me, I'm in the midst of a move. Uh, so any additional traffic does help basically pays for my, my lunch or stuff like that with YouTube videos, uh, but greatly appreciate it if you could. Uh, this hand looks good. So we have the combo in hand. Turn four, potentially. So could be sweeper deck, most likely. Could just be like, is it? Interesting. So we're definitely sneaking Heliod down here. So we can bait out with Daxos. This looks like Grixis control. Hmm. So I think here what we do Let's bait out with Pride Mate. Let's see what they do here. Okay, cool. So they have an effect. I think we just try to jam the combo here. Because I can make Soul Warden infinitely large. Do they have a bounce effect? They have Brazen Borrower. Okay. So.
try again here. So I think we go Daxos first, because Daxos also triggers life gain off death. And this can give us enough devotion. Seen two heartless acts. I'm just splitting up so they can hold priority because of the brazen borrower just coming into play. Could see Gear Hulk out of them here. Wow. Well, we weren't playing around that. That sucks. You don't see too many shadows, Verdict. And they had to use the treasure to hit it. I think we just attack in here. I think we just pass the turn. Still have some options here. We have Collected Company, a Johnny. The unfortunate thing is because we we turned on. Heliod, we lost that too, because that would have been a nice way to just gain life. Put counters on things. Having an active castle should allow us to grind a bit. So allow us to draw a card potentially. Another Opus. So if they draw land, they can Gear Hulk here. Jeez. Them hitting the double shadows verdict really hurts. This land is doing a good job. Like they've been kind of stuck on mana. We've gone through three Heartless Axe, two Shadows Verdict. And a Brazen Borrower Bounce, Petty Theft. Which is quite impressive. Um, so we have Coco. I don't think we want to do it now. Just there's no sense of us playing into something. Opponents also gone 19 cards into their deck and have only hit four lands. I, on the worst case, they have Spell Pierce. I can also play around it. Um, let's go Heliod. Johnny's pride mate. Uh, here I think we go for it.
So let's go counter here. Let's keep that on top. Got him. Got him. All right, sweet. Beating Grixis Control, blue black splash. Bona got a little unlucky with lands, but I mean, we also went through a hell of a lot of removal there. Snuck it through. Almost comboed them on turn four. They had exactly two pieces of removal to get us. Combo in hand. If this is burn, burn's a pretty bad matchup. Just because they could interact with a lot of their stuff. Okay, gruel is not as terrifying. So we'll go Heliod next turn and then Scurry Oak. Hoping no stomp here. Okay, so they're shamans. So they can do a chunk of damage to me, but they typically don't have removal. I don't think they could kill me next turn. I do have to play Heliod out this turn because I need something to trigger it. Okay, just gaining all this life is helpful. Gives me a bit of an insulation. And now if they play something pre-combat, I can get my Soul Ward in larger. Okay, Prodigy. actually gain me a lot. <laughs> Biggest soul warden around. Cool. So got him. Got him. Friend O Dedo. Friend O Dedo. And this is why this deck was really good against these creature decks. Um, you gain so much incidental life. And when you, everybody's trying to go linear with each other, the fact you can just offset the damage race with life gain, but also combo kill. Mm. Good enough. You know what I want to do to this deck get updated. I'm going to trim the Sun Petal Grows and instead play the new um, Innistrad Land. The one that comes into play, the Slow Lands. Okay, there, Enchantress. Um, Heliod's a combo. But I think I want to try to find... So I can try this. I need to draw exactly a land next turn. I think we take one more turn, try to hit it naturally. We could put enough pressure on this turn. They might be on the nine lives lock. So then I do need to interact with their Sterling Grove. Yeah. So they are nine lives. Fortunately, I do need to interact with that. If they have nine lives. Okay. 
I'm just dead here. Don't have an answer. We also just didn't draw lines. Gotta love when they just naturally curve into turn four. I guess we're kind of the same way, but we have a lot of redundancy. They need exactly. The problem was the Sterling Grove there. If it was the non nine lives combo version of Enchantress, I think we're fine, but ooh, playing number 16. Wonder what they're on. Hand's not super fast, but I think it's reasonable. Especially with us being on the play, we can go Innkeeper into Trellasara. I think given... They might be on Rogues. Otherworldly reanimator. Yeah. So we have to get bigger than an Elish Norn while probably playing around Shadow's Verdict. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um. So I actually need to exile that. Reason being is they otherworldly glaze, they put something in their graveyard, they get me. And then potentially next turn I can play out both of these. playing a version of this the other day, I'd be interested to see what their differences are. Um, felt so-so. I, was, I wasn't on the stitchers, but that might be the correct line. Sarah's Emissary. Okay, they get rid of Scurryoak. Gonna be looking for a land here, probably. Yeah, that's actually fine, I think. Just gonna try to dodge a sweeper. So the Concern obviously is if they get Emissary out, which they could next turn. So I'm going to do this pre combat. They have something. At the, at the worst, it's Faithful Mending, but. Take a chance. Yeah, they're gonna just dig firm burial rights here. Yeah, they found it. So I need a Johnny off the top. It's my only out. Land is not that. Assuming they named creatures. So we just have to dig here. Like a Johnny, the exile is relevant, but we also have to gain enough life to do it. Just 
going to be a bit of a problem. Another Skyclave's not terrible, but... Hey, we got it. The problem is I need 15 or more starting life. So I gotta wait. To see if I hit something. Need to hit a creature here. Need another like, because the problem is they're hitting me for seven each turn. I'm just not gaining the life back. So they have protection from creatures. I think we give it one more turn and then play this out. Because we can go like Coco, hit some stuff. Down to 15. Perfect. Um, I guess we just wait till their end step and do it. Yikes. Not quite enough. We needed like one more hit there. Because they get unblockable here. Yeah. We needed them to not rip Elishnor in that turn. That one's frustrating. Just couldn't hit. They had a timely one there, but we drew the Ajani, just never drew the a way to gain life. Enough. Or like we were at 35. Like if we were, if they cast it and then the turn after we would have been okay, but so very similar to our list. It looks like they have the Stitcher suppliers. Um, opponent goes first. I think we're okay to keep this one. Like, this is a curve. If needed, we have Skyclave. We're on the draw. Okay, we got the combo in hand. We just need some mana. Looks like they too are on the combo. Deck has just not been doing a good job of finding us lands. Okay, there is a land. So they could Coco into the combo. If not, we combo. See if they hit it. Not quite. So with Prosperous Innkeeper, I can do both. So this is the fun part where we try to do as many as we can. So 
So I'll speed it. I'll put a comment like when the combo ends in the video if you want to skip ahead. Do, 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 do. So how's everybody doing today? This is Token Maker's Paradise. We got a ton of tokens. The problem is because they can just combo next turn if they hit, have a life gainer. So we're gonna just do it till we time like start roping ourselves, or it detects a loop. The fun for the whole family combo. This is where we want yield all. The problem is because each time it creates new triggers. So we'll make a bunch of big ones. Because they have Trellisara and a Johnny's Pride Mate, those two can get really big. This is uh, a very click intensive one. Especially when they don't want to concede. I can understand why, I probably wouldn't concede either. I'm just gonna stop at this point. Because if we get a land, I can just a Johnny and exile their board. Do this so it's lethal at least. Let's 
So what happens is once you run at a clock, it just starts auto assigning. So we'll just do it to that. Use our timeout and go from there. I can always just get the combo going again next turn. So land gets it, Trellisara, we can also exile something if needed. With Skyclave, we have another Heliod if needed for redundancy pieces. So it just does this now. Takes one squirrel out of the way. All right, I'm good. Your turn. So now they go through their iterations but they have multiple triggers that they have to cast through. So like I said, land lets us go through. And just wipe their board with a Johnny. Strike for lethal. Depends on how wide. So we went 40, uh, 53 tokens. The big thing here is Soul Warden. While if we had a Soul Warden versus Innkeeper, they're going to gain life off both sides. And the thing is, they have all these uh, Trellisara and a Johnny Pride Mate counters. This game is just where it gets nutty. We just need a land. Untapped land, please. And we just sweep their board. We also have Shadow Sphere in our deck, which is a way that we can deal some damage afterwards, so we have a couple options. One thing is we had double triggers going off, so it took us longer to resolve everything. They might be on a Johnny as well, and they'll have all these scries off Trellisara. Okay, when are they gonna start getting the loop? Or the clock? So the thing is, if we don't... Well, they can start their loop again. With Soul Warding, because our Skyclave Apparition had entered the battlefield, it would trigger on Soul Warden. So we really need this Ajani to come down because now they've made more tokens than us. So it might have been right, the singular Prosperous Innkeeper versus the duel. So 
they went a good way to see just squirrel count is just the amount of counters on our scurry oaks. Because whoever has the soul ward and out brings it uh, a mirror breaker because they gain life as well. Can we start roping now? If it wasn't for the fact we had a Johnny in hand, I'd probably just concede at this point for our own sanity. A game on the ladder is not really worth this much, but because I can basically just play a Johnny, sweep their board, and win. Starting to rope now. The one positive is they might not get a chance to get their scry triggers. Okay, looks like they're going through scries now. Which is important because they can't find their Johnny, hopefully. Kept on top, so that's probably their Johnny. Land one time, land one time. I wonder if they just completely lose off this. Might skip their combat. Okay, so all the lines in my deck come into play untapped except one layer of the Hydra. We're naturally going to draw this layer of the Hydra, aren't we? Triggers, triggers, triggers. Why is it roping me now? I can't do anything. This is so stupid. I'm getting roped because of them. Perfect. Oh my god, are they still trying to catch up with this? Got there! <laughs> what a stupid game of magic. Alright. It's probably about as dumb as we're going to go. So we will leave it at that. Uh, if you do enjoy the content, as always, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. 
if you enjoy this debauchery, this stupidity, if you may. Um, the only thing I would change is uh, these sun petal groves are better off as, where are they? I don't know what the names of the new lands are. Overgrown farmland. I would play those instead. Uh, so that's my list. Let me know what you think in the comments as always. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great one. Stay safe out there.